Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's today's topic. So today I need you to go into 930. So we're going to finish the characterization of yesterday, which is this one, right? So I want you to go ahead and go into yours, and it's going to look like this. So we had talked about it yesterday, how I wanted you to go ahead and show me uh, something about yourself uh, that you like that's character. Right? So I went ahead and did that for you. Now, what I also wanted to do, and this one I'm going to do with you, I went ahead and we labeled each and every one of them in class. It was narrator, that, right? This was horse, and this was Max. So I left these a little blank because I want you to go ahead and find me characteristics about them. Over here, I went ahead and did it for you, right? So I went ahead and put uh, paragraph 13. And in that paragraph, he was half the size of the narrator, right? Would say a lot to seem tough. Uh, are you saying and have his fist up in the air? So that is actually the exact words that he would say, right? He's very, he may be sharp, but he's a little feisty. Now over here, I went ahead and I already had showed you in yesterday's video how to go ahead and add a video to this area, right? Not a video. Go ahead and add a text box and at least add three traits from here and here on how to go ahead and describe this character. Now, obviously, you can add more, but three is the minimum, okay? That's the absolute minimum. You have to at least add three to get full credit. Next, I want you to go ahead and do that for the narrator. Maybe he's smart. Maybe you, know, you let me know and go ahead and change the sizes on this, right? Uh, here, I would like you to go to paragraph one. I helped you out a little bit just to help you uh, go ahead and go in there and uh, go ahead and give a description. Now for Max, I didn't put the name, but I want you to put the name on top and you sure already know how to do your text boxes. And over here, I want you to go ahead and tell me what paragraph. It's probably close to where this one's at, right? So play close, play, play, play close attention. Also, I want you to tell me a little bit about him. Who is he in this box? And same thing, go ahead and add text boxes, first his name, and then text boxes as to his characteristics. Next, what I want you to do is to, and it's not up yet, right? Well, uh, for today it's 9.30, but it should already be there. So how to make a presentation. Now, this is just a practice slide to go ahead and teach you how to go in there and make a slide. And it looks like this, if you were to open it. Now, this is my presentation, right? For that matter, I want you to go ahead and in the box, paste a picture of your favorite superhero. So in my favorite superhero, I'm going to go ahead and click on this picture, insert image. I'm going to search the web. And this right here is going to come to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange is actually my, one of my favorites. So Dr. Strange. And let's see what comes out. So hopefully Dr. Strange. Oh, we have a bunch of people dressing up as Dr. Strange, but I don't want that. And sometimes I am not okay, or I don't like the pictures that come out there, and that's totally fine. It's based on preference. So what I want you to do is go ahead and open a new tab, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange, he's one of my favorite superheroes. I'm going to put images. And the image that I like the most, ooh, I have a bunch, right? So I'm going to go ahead and maybe, let's see, this one. He looks more like a magician there, and I like that one. So I'm going to right-click, or two fingers if you have a Chromebook. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to put copy image. So copy image. Right-click again. Copy image. Do not copy image address. If not, it's going to be a little weird when you try pasting it. Do not save image because it's going to save it in the computer. Now you can, but I don't recommend it because this is easier. So copy image. There will be a time and place where we need to upload an image. Copy image. And then I'm going to jump on over to my presentation, which I am doing. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. Again, two clicks for options or right click for a, uh, for a computer. Uh, and I'm going to put paste. So again, right click in the middle and put paste. Oh my goodness, it's too big. Too, too, too big. So what I do, and it's probably the best way, is to go to the corners, any corner, whichever one, and make it smaller. <gasps> oh, no, I made it too small. That's fine. But look, what happens if I do this? Oh, I made it upside down, right? So this little dot here, I could actually turn it around. Okay, and there we go. And now he's right side up, and I could always make him bigger to fit. So that's how big I want him to be, and that's it. The next slide is crop the picture to only have the yellow square in the middle, then move it inside the text box and make it bigger. Okay, well then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and crop it. So how do I crop it? Where well, I can give you the option to crop it here or crop it in here. I'm gonna go ahead and crop it in here just so I already have it in there, right? So I just grab it and put it there. 
So how do I know I'm moving something? Well, you see this little, the plus, that's a plus, and its arrow is going up, down, and to the sides. So go ahead and grab it, put it in the middle, and double click it twice, real fast. One, two, right? One, two. If I click it twice, real fast, I should see just a line in the corner, a line in the middle of the sides, a line here, this little tiny line that you see here, that's exactly what I want you to focus on. So that one is to crop it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it smaller again from the corners and from the corners and there. If I click outside the picture, it is only that. Oh, I forgot that part. Oh, it's okay. I can go ahead and click it twice and I could bring it up right where the little lines are, the black little lines, short ones. I'm gonna wait till I have my arrows up and down or side to side and then I can have it. Right. Oh, but let's say uh, I want to go ahead and not use the corners. That's fine, too. So I click it one, two, twice, one, two. And I go from the top and I go ahead and close it in. Uh Oh, and so this will happen, too. So look what I did. What did I do? I kind of shrunk it Oh, There is an undo button over here to the left hand side. So ooh, left hand side button undo. Let's try that again, click it twice, and I make sure that I have my little arrow, and there we go. I grab it up here, I have my little arrow. So see how this may take a little bit longer? You could still do it, and it's still okay. Maybe you wanna be more precise, and that's totally okay. Uh-oh, I did it again. Again, back over here, undo button. And it just takes practice, guys. Ms. H still does it all the time. She messes up, it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and click outside. Once I click outside, I'm gonna go ahead, I usually put it here in the corner because I want it to fill in because that's what my instructions say. Move it inside the text box and make it bigger. And did I make it bigger? Yes. Click out, yes. Then change the background for this slide and change the color of, oh, I put a typo in there, of a font if you like, right? So I'm going to go ahead and change the background. The background, oop, it's right there on top. So I'm going to change my background, choose an image. I could choose an image, right? I could search maybe uh, a forest, right? Something. And remember, guys, any picture that you select, it has to be school appropriate. If you would like to show your teacher and your friends in school setting, then you should show that picture. Otherwise, if it's not appropriate to show Miss age, then it's an inappropriate picture. Going back, I'm going to save this one. Ooh, this one looks eerie because we're already going into October. Miss age loves October. So, oh, but then I can't see my letters. Okay, well, that's fine. I can go ahead and click on the bottom side. And I'm just going to get my cursor and see how you have the little eye. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, highlight it. I'm going to go here to text color and I'm going to change that to white. Okay. So, but what if, uh, what if my background, I wanted just a plain color. That's fine too. I go to color and maybe I want it. Ooh, I want it this nice. Ooh, maybe not that. Let's do, yeah, well, let's do that one. It's a nice yellow and I go ahead and click it and I click over here and I click done. Now again, you could do a gradient, a gradient, right? Ooh. And I click done. And is that a gradient? Yes, a gradient means that it's like faded out. You do different gradients. Uh, let's see. Ooh, let's try this one. This one looks nice. See how it looks like a gradient? So you guys can go ahead and mess with these and do it to your liking. This is what this is about. We're going to learn how to use um, our Google Slides. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. And as I click it, I click move my mouse up. I don't click it up because then if I do that, I'm going to do doing this, right? Oh, it looks off, right? So I'm going to go over here, undo. So I'm going to click it here once and then drag my mouse up while holding the click. And same thing with the mouse on the mouse pad. I click it once and with my other finger, I'm going to move it upwards. So it takes practice, right? Maybe I want to change this font. Okay, well, the font, I can go here and I could put Oswald, right? And there's a bunch of different fonts. And I know you guys already played with them in class. And I can make it bigger or I can change the color and see here I have white. So maybe I want a purple. Maybe I want this purple. Oh, I highlighted. Oops. So Miss H actually highlighting. You can highlight too. So this is highlighting. I want to change the color text. I want it to be this one. And then my highlighting, I want it to be transparent. So I have nothing. There you go. Next one is do nothing to this slide because I can't, but add an extra slide after it and change the background. How do I do that? Well, I go here, 
I right click or two fingers and I put new slide. That's it. Now to delete these, I can have two options. I can highlight them, right click or double click with your two fingers, put delete, or I can go individually and right click and delete. Oh, where to go? Where to go? Okay, so oh, see how it doesn't give me the option to delete because the texting or the writing portion is on. I want to make sure that I have this and it's not ready to text to write. I delete again. Is it still there? I right click delete. Okay. Now there's another way too. Uh, another way. Oh, let's say I put that picture there. Okay. Well, I have this picture here and I don't want it. I could click the picture and press delete. Now, let's say I have my text box again. Okay, well, I go in there, right? And if this disappears, then I, I, can't, I can't delete it. I have to be able to click it, and I have my little cursor that has up and down and side to side. I'm going to press delete or backspace on my keyboard, at, like when you want to go back, and I can delete it. So there's many ways to delete it. Now, the instructions say add a slide after and change the background. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to change my background. So again, background. I added a slide and I still have forest. And so I'm going to put that one. That one's like a nice one. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. And there is my forest. And I'm just going to leave it alone. Now this one, delete the slide. And didn't I just tell you how to delete that slide? So wait, oh, I didn't. I told you how to delete the box. So go ahead and you can delete that, right? Delete it real quick with backspace. Or I can go in here and, oh, I don't want it to be blinking. I want it to be out here. If it's not blinking anymore, then I can delete it. If I can't do that, then I, I am not able to delete it. So make sure you're able to delete that. Now, I need to delete the slide. How do I do that? Well, you bring our cursor, right? This is our mouse, our cursor. And I go ahead and click over here, right click or double click with two fingers and delete. Now, if you wanted to present it and see it, how it looks all complete, I go here to present. And then using, I could click on the edges, right? I could click on the edges or just keep going. And you see how that works? Now, I can go ahead and press escape on my keypad to get out. Or if I'm there, I also have the option to click exit at the bottom. And that's it. That is it. Another way also is you use the arrow keys on your keyboard and left, right, left, right, right, and you're done. So that is a quick tutorial on how to do this so that you can become a pro and become an expert when you're going to do your slides for Thursday and Friday. You have a project and an assignment, okay? So I hope this helped, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Um, I really, really hope this was helpful and as always, happy learning guys.